Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Soul Solar Version. Last episode, we took on Faulkner and defeated the uh, Violet City Gym, got our Zephyr Badge, and then headed all the way down here to Azalea Town, where we met Kurt, who is helping us clear out the Team Rocket uh, group. Currently, as you can see on the screen, our team is Quilava, uh, Onyx, and Baby the Hopip. We also have an egg from Professor Elm, which we received last time. I also forgot to give the Miracle Seed to Baby, so I'm going to do that real quick. There we go. Now, uh, I also have changed the audio settings. You may have noticed it last time, but we're doing mono sound now. So everything should not be, you know, in one ear or in the other. That was genuinely something that always kind of annoyed me. Hey there, Duffy. The guard up top took off when I shouted at him. Then I took a tumble down the well. Slammed down hard on my back so I can't move. Right. If I were fit, my Pokemon would have punished them. Can't be helped. Show them how guts you are in my place. Okay, will do, sir. We are now in the Slowpoke Well. In the Slowpoke Well, you can encounter Zubat mostly, but there are also, obviously, Slowpokes. And in your first visit down here, there is also Team Rocket. I was standing guard up top and some old coot yelled at me. He started on me so much that I fell down here. How about I vent my anger and take it out on you? Okay, buddy. Now, if you never uh, have had to deal with Team Rocket before, they've got some pretty basic Pokemon. Not Nothing too crazy. Uh, and we are going to primarily train up our Quilava in uh, down here. Because honestly, I don't really want to switch train. It'll take a really long time. And if I need to train up Pokemon, I can always do it off screen. So there's no like rush to have uh, our Hopip or Baby uh, become a Skip Loom or Jump Luff. Especially considering Skip Loom, I think is level 18. Uh, editor me will flash on screen if that's wrong, but and then I think Jump Luff's 28. So there's not really like a huge rush to get things done. Oh, we got a Super Pothin. Hell yeah! Talking about another Rocket member. One thing that is really fun about uh, the Heart Gold and Soul Silver remakes of Pokemon Gold and Silver is that the Team Rocket executives actually have their own names and their own sprites, which is really cool to me. I, I think it's really fun. Sorry, I had to take a, a dwink of Wawa. You ever just drink some water, man? Feels so good. Also, I've been e I was editing some uh, Soul Silver episodes today. Um, today being Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday. And I realize I really do just ramble. <laughs> I just be yapping, which is fine. It's not a terrible thing, especially in a Let's Play format. You know, could be worse. But honestly, I'm kind of I'm kind of cool with this. But anyway, hopefully the audio is a little better too. I bumped up the audio for on, on OBS, so the audio should sound a little bit more crisp, or at least be able to be heard. Down here is another super potion, by the way. It's a hidden item. I know I haven't discussed many of the hidden items, but in OG Pokemon. I guess prior to Gen, I think like seven, or maybe it was eight or nine. But anyway, prior to like Gen, one of those newer generations of Pokemon, uh, hidden items didn't sparkle on the ground, so you just had to kind of guess if you didn't have the item finder already. But, you know, that happens. <laughs> Nowadays, you don't really have to deal with it anymore because it the ground sparkles, but back in my day, had to deal with it all the time. Oh, hell yeah. Another Zubat, that's all right. We can take him out too. Oh, we got the burn? Burn, baby, burn. Leech Life Inferno. Today's episode is going to be a, a 
not a super long one, but it's gonna it's gonna be kind of lengthy. We're gonna take out Team Rocket here, and then we're also going to take on the gym. And then after the gym, we're gonna maybe have a rival battle. I'm often labeled as the scariest and cruelest guy in Team Rocket. I strongly urge you not to inf interfere with our business. Okay, Proton. I don't know if it's necessarily a positive to be cruel. Especially with your level 8 Zubat. But, you know. Here we go. God, Quilava is so strong. It also just helps that I'm like 10 levels above everything. Ooh, our special attack's actually really high. Shouts to Coughing. Oh, also, uh, in between episodes, I was kind of working on trying to plan out my team. And currently, I kind of like what it's it's uh, what it's lining up to be. Oh, we're poisoned! Are you serious? Did you come here thinking you can mess up with our plans? Yeah, because I'm going to knock out your coughing right here. Uh, sorry, one moment. I was looking at something. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Team Rock was indeed broken up three years ago, but we continued our activities underground. A small obstacle like you won't be much of a problem for our mission. I advise you to be very afraid of what is to come. Relax there, Proton, all right? Where's the Neutron for you? Way to go, Duffy. Team Rocket has taken off. My back's better, too, so let's get out of here. Cool. Kill. Hi, Duffy. You handled yourself like a real hero. As I mentioned before, Team Rocket was disbanded by a boy called Red three years ago. Now that they've come back, I have a bad feeling about it. In any case, it would please me greatly to make Pokeballs for a trainer like you, Duffy. This is all I have now, but take it. The Fastball. Yes, Kurt is the... Do you have Apricorns for me? Fine, I'll turn them into Pokeballs. So, Kurt can make uh, Pokeballs out of Apricorns that you have. Uh, we have two green Apricorns, so we might as well just give them both. Take a day to make a Pokeball. Come back for it later. I'll give you my grandpa's number. Yes. Yes, thank you. My grandpa can tell you more about Apricorns. Not quite. Well, I guess technically he can, but... Uh, Apricorn... I I'll put on screen, like, right now while we're healing... What each one is and what it does. But the Apricorn Balls were, I think... Kind of like the, the setups into, like, the Quick Ball, Dusk Ball, and everything. That are now more permanent uh, additions to the Pokemon series. Oh, wow. Thanks, man. <laughs> Anywho, now that we've done that, we can actually go to the gym. Once again, we're not going to be... We're probably not going to be leaving Azalea Town. Yo, Challenger. Bugsy made this gym. It's a huge nest of Bug-type Pokemon. Bugsy's young, but he's a master of Bug-type Pokemon. It's going to be tough without my advice. Let's see. Bug-type Pokemon don't like fire. Flying-type moves are super effective, too. If you're ever curious what a gym has to offer and you've never played, you know, that Pokemon... If you've never played Pokemon before or you just don't really know that many type advantages stuff, just talk to the guide. He will usually tell you, like, hey, bug types are weak to fire types or uh, yada yada. But we want this one. Now, Bugsy's gym in the remakes is way more interesting than Bugsy's Gym in the OG versions. In the OG versions, it's just a circle, basically. <laughs> but anyway, we're in a gym. We're going to be battling all the trainers. You don't need to see every battle. I'll see you guys in just a second.
All right. We've arrived to Bugsy. Which I need to make sure Quilava hasn't taken any damage. Nothing crazy, so we're good there. Let's... Take him on. I'm Bugsy. I never lose when it comes to Bug-type Pokemon. My research is going to make me the authority on Bug-type Pokemon. Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies. Time for Bugsy. Gym Leader Bugsy sent out Scyther. Now, Scyther can be really dangerous if you're not careful. Uh, luckily for us, we have Onyx as a backup. But Scyther is a very powerful Pokemon. Ooh, half health, but it does have an Orin Berry. Oh, Citrus Berry, my bad. Uh-oh, that's not good. So one of the things that is rough about this Scyther is that it has... Er, yeah, yeah. It has Fury Cutter. Now, at first, Fury Cutter doesn't do a lot of damage, but it adds up over time. And gets ru Oh my god! This guy is getting cooked! Oh, the Scyther is faster than us. That's unfortunate. That's alright. We were able to knock, it, knock her out. Which is crazy! That is the easiest time I've had with that Scyther, like, ever. You want to learn Flame Wheel? Yes! Uh, let's forget Leer, because Smokescreen is just going to be much better overall. Now, if you are going to question what uh, moves I swap in or swap out, just, it's okay, man. Like, it's, uh, it's not that serious. It's not that serious. Also, I probably shouldn't use Flame Wheel against Metapod and Kakuna, but that's fine. That is one thing I never understood about Bugsy, is why uh, Bugsy uses a Kakuna and Metapod when... Even though it's my last Pokemon, bug Pokemon are tough. Well, when Lediba and Spinarak are right there. <laughs> you know? Or even Heracross. Which is another bug type Pokemon, which actually we will be encountering at some point. Whoa, amazing! You're an expert on Pokemon! My research isn't complete yet. Okay, you win. Take this badge. <laughs> Do you know the benefits of the Hive Badge? If you have it, Pokemon up to level 30 will obey you, even traded ones. Pokemon that now have cut will be able to use it outside of battle too. Here, I also want you to have this. TM89, you know what that contains? Fury Cutter. You turn, I mean. Sorry. <laughs> Let your Pokemon attack, then switch with the next Pokemon in your party. Isn't that great? Yes, Fury Cutter is a very good move. Er, Fury Cutter. U turn is a very good move. Uh, to be fair, a Fury Cutter could be good. You just gotta, like, build it up. But yeah, with all that done now, let's go heal up and take on our rival. Uh, we're actually gonna put Baby out front because I think the rival opens up with the starter. But we'll see. But first, obviously, we're gonna heal. Because healing's a very important... Also, just so you guys know, I am probably going to be catching par some party members off screen just because they can be kind of a grind. And I don't want to like, <sighs> what, what am I trying to say? I don't want people to anxiously await, you know, if I uh, am going to end up catching the, the Mon or whatever. All right, though. We are going to do this. We're going the distance. We're going for speed. Huh, tell me something. Is it true that Team Rocket has returned? What? You beat them? Huh, quit lying. Are you serious? Let's see how good you are. Time to battle Tyler. Rival Tyler, your second battle with Tyler, or your rival rather, is going to be a little bit more difficult. He's got a Ghastly, uh, which we are going to immediately swap out. 
He's got a Ghastly, whatever the stage 2 evolution is of the starter, so in our case it'll be Croconaw. And then also has... I want to say... Got a bird. Oh, Zubat, I believe. I believe it's Zubat is the last one. Ooh, we got hit with Mean Look. So while Ghastly's out on the field, we cannot swap out Pokemon, which isn't bad. It's not terrible, because Rocky's just the GOAT. Never mind, I take it back. Rocky sucks. Rocky's the worst. Absolute worst Pokemon ever. It's okay, we're faster than Ghastly somehow. That is shocking that Onyx is outspeeding a Ghastly. Because <laughs> the whole Ghastly line is, like, pretty quick. Let's learn Stun Spore. Uh, let's see what moves you got. Eh, nah. We'll keep what we have. I would prefer that Hopip learn Sleep Powder, though. That would be a good one. Got to send in Croconaw. Let's switch Pokemon. Go to Baby. Because Baby's the GOAT. We also gave... I gave Baby the Miracle Seed earlier, so... We should be able to do a decent amount of damage, permitting we don't flinch. Huge. Okay, but we did take 20 damage there, which is not great. Uh, it does also suck that we definitely don't outspeed <laughs> Croconaw. All right, but let's heal. Maybe it'll go for like a water type move. Uh, it didn't. Maybe that was a high roll before. Sure was, but either way, I think we die. So let's just potion again. Screw it. <laughs> Full health. Now, if I ever say high roll or low roll, uh, whenever a Pokemon hits you, or whenever you're hit by a move, there's like a... I don't remember exactly what it is, but there was there is a rate at which it can hit like a higher number or a lower number, not including crits. Okay, I, I'll i be honest. No, I didn't mean to run. I meant to swap to Rocky. Because Rocky's gonna be able to tank this bite like a champ. Boom. Hurt by poison, huge. Now, if Rocky can tank the water through... What the heck? If he can tank this, that'd be crazy. I'm not expecting it, though. Yeah, fully... Did not expect you to be able to tank that. Hurt by Poison, go Quilava. Should be able to knock it out now with a quick attack. Boop. We are three levels higher. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. The rest of this match is pretty much decided, because now it's Zubat territory. One of the things that's really fun about the rival is that, uh, just like in Gen 1 with Gary or Blue, depending on how you view it, the Pokemon he catches throughout the game level up and evolve alongside him. So eventually he's going to have a Feraligator, uh, Feraligator, Gengar. Actually, I don't think he ever gets a Gengar. I think he gets a Haunter, though. And then he'll also have a Crobat. Which is great. We love that. I hate the weak. Pokemon trainers, doesn't matter who or what. I hate to see them hanging around. That goes for Team Rocket, too. I think they're big and tough as long as they're in a group. But get them alone and they're weak. I hate them all. You stay out of my way. You won't be an exception if you get in my way. Okay, buddy. Well, with that, I think we're actually going to end today's episode. A little bit of a shorter ep, for sure, in comparison to the past few ones. But I think that's okay. We got a lot done. We got all of Azalea Town done in this episode. In the next episode, we're going to be traveling. That's right. We're going to be traveling to a new town. And before we do sign off, let me uh, let me check in on the egg. Sounds to be heard coming from inside. It will hatch soon. So I guess next time we're also going to be seeing our egg hatch. And with that, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.
Goodbye.